Hello and welcome back to Larissa's Kitchen, the show that cooks with cats. Well, we don't really cook the cats, they're just around while we're cooking. Today, we're going to make my contest winning dessert, Nut Roca. So, what are we going to need for this Nut Roca? Well, you need a pound of butter, that's either four sticks or you can just buy it by the pound like this, two cups of white granulated sugar, two tablespoons of light corn syrup, and a third of a cup of water. Now, this is going to be combined to make your toffee. We're going to top it with one bag of good quality milk chocolate chips and about a cup and a half of chopped nuts. Now I have slivered almonds here and those will need to be toasted on top of the stove first. Okay, if you haven't watched this show before, we toast nuts in a dry skillet over medium low heat. Now we're going to let these toast until they turn brown and we're going to stir them or flip them uh, occasionally. We don't want them to turn black because then they'll become bitter. Okay, I can hear these sizzling just a little bit because the oils are coming out of the nuts, so we'll go ahead and flip these. Okay, these look toasted enough. We're going to go ahead and turn this off because I don't want these to burn. Now we just need to set these aside and they can rest until we're ready to put them on top of the toffee. Okay, next we need to prepare our pan before we even get started on that toffee because we're going to be over there stirring the whole time and we won't have any time to prepare this once we get done. So I'm going to line a baking sheet, uh, an 11 by 15 inch baking sheet with nonstick foil. Now the matte side is the nonstick side. Okay, let's get started making our toffee. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get this butter melted. Now I have this in my largest stock pot. Uh, once we get all these ingredients in here, it's not going to look like much, but once the sugar starts boiling, it's going to rise up that pan and you'll need all that room. Now, just a cautionary note, this is one of the more dangerous desserts that we're going to be making. This is boiling sugar, it's going to be up close to uh, actually over 300 degrees. If it were to get on you or on a child, it's going to burn very badly. So if you have little children who like to help cook, this is definitely not one of those meals that they can help with. Okay, this butter is all the way melted, so we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our toffee ingredients. That's the sugar, the water, and the corn syrup. Okay, now we're going to be stirring this for a while, so make sure you choose your uh, spoon wisely. Don't use a silicone spatula because it's not going to be able to uh, get this toffee out of the pan when the time comes. And make sure that your uh, barrel is easy to hold on to because you're going to want to stir that for a while. Alright, we need to let this come to boiling first. Okay, we are going to need one piece of specialty equipment. That's a candy thermometer. The way to check to see if your candy thermometer is accurate is to put it in a pan with boiling water. Water boils at 212 degrees. If your thermometer reads 212 degrees, it's accurate. Okay, you can see this is starting to boil, so we need to carefully clip this candy thermometer on. Okay, now it just needs to be in a position where we can read it, because we're going to have to see all the way up to 290 degrees. Okay, and continue stirring the whole time. Okay. If you found that you've accidentally used too small of a pan and your sugar is starting to boil over, just turn the burner off and let it go. If it boils over, it boils over. Let it all cool down till you can touch it and then you can clean it up after that. Don't try to clean it up while it's still hot. This has gone up over 280. We're, we need to get up to 290 and I'm about to 287. This is going to go very quickly, so we need to pay attention. Okay, and then carefully bring it over to this pan and we need to get it poured in as quickly as possible. Okay, don't scrape because you'll scrape this burn stuff out and that's not good. Let's go ahead and get this leveled a little bit. Okay. 
we need to let this sit for about 10 minutes before we put the chocolate chips on. Otherwise, it's actually still too soft. The chocolate chips will make indentions in the toffee rather than just sitting on top and melting. So 10 minutes. Okay, we are going to uh, cover this toffee with a layer of these milk chocolate, chip, uh, milk chocolate chips. We don't have to worry about having the whole thing covered. We will eventually smooth this all out. And this is plenty of chocolate to cover the whole thing. Okay, we're gonna let this sit until these chips melt and then we're gonna go ahead and take the offset spatula and smooth this out. And once we smooth that out, then we're gonna go ahead and put the nuts on top. Now, this sugar is gonna stay hot for a very long time, so you have plenty of time to work with this chocolate. Okay, we wanna work with this chocolate until the pieces are all completely melted because we don't want any identifiable chip uh, lumps in here once this uh, hardens up. Okay, we need to let this cool until it comes to room temperature. That'll probably take two or even three hours. After that, it needs to go in the refrigerator so that it can completely cool down and this chocolate can firm up. Now, I like making this in the winter time because I just let it come to room temperature, loosely cover it with aluminum foil, and then I stick it out on my deck to cool the rest of the way. So, if it's winter time in your house and you're watching this, that's how you can do it. Nut Roca a taste. Now I've got Ethan with me because he loves this. Well, all my kids love it. 